Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with The Blasting Lab. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to What Can the Cold Jet PCS 60 Do? That's right, today we have a little special uh, video in store. I have some old Edelbrock valve covers off of a Chevrolet 454 and today we are going to be putting the Cold Jet PCS 60 dry ice blasting machine to the test and seeing how well these will work on uh, the dry ice cleaning. Now these are polished, so we didn't wanna just blast traditionally because we didn't wanna pit them up. And being that this doesn't pit, uh, this is gonna be a good solution. But also, you'll see that there's a lot of issues with these as far as build up and over time. So all of the valve cover uh, sealant you see is just, you guys know, this is just a pain in the butt to get off. All of this buildup in here, and then on the exterior, we have a lot of buildup over here. So we're gonna see what this cold jet PCS 60 can do on the Edelbrock valve covers. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, run to the first spot on this end.
All right, so here you guys can really see the difference between the finished one and the non-finished one. Now, it's not taking any of the metal surface off, it's really just taking the grease off. So if there's any staining that's on the metal, it will continue. So all of this, all of this staining that's on the metal, that will need to be polished off, but we have all of the dirt taken off, all of the valve cover gasket sealant, you can see just comes right off. And it's now clean, much easier and ready to polish. So let's go ahead and finish this one up and see how they look together. Well, here we have our final product. Now remember that the dry ice blasting is non-abrasive. So anything that is stained into something, it is not going to be abrasive like sandpaper to take it out. So anything that's on the surface of this metal, it will clean. So you can see it's nice and clean. There's nothing on there. But as far as any of the staining that you see, that's all in the metal, okay? So this is completely smooth but you'll see we're able to get all of the greasing out of the Edelbrocks and all of the fins. All of the Chevrolet has been all cleaned up, but I think the most impressive, and you guys all know, getting the gasket cleaned up from here is virtually impossible. And it has completely cleaned all of the gasket, all of the burnt oil that was left up in here. Again, this is all staining, but all of the burnt oil that was in here is all cleaned out. I mean, you know, we've gotten down to now, we've got the identifying marks of, you know, what they are. So very, very cool. Very, very, uh, you know, as in my opinion, very 
nicely done. I mean, you know, yes, again, you'll see some staining, but these things are ready for polish. So thank you guys for sticking around for another video uh, here at the Blasting Lab. Comment down below, let me know, is there something that you want me to try to dry ice blast? Comment down below, let me know. Um, I'd love to put this thing to the test. I've got it on some wood stuff. I've got it underneath the car. We just did a Ducati motorcycle with it. Um, we're doing uh, the refurbishment of the medical equipment with it. So uh, let me know in the comments in the section below if there's something that you think that would be cool for me to dry ice blast. If I don't have it, maybe I can find it. Or if you guys are local, send me something and maybe we'll put it to the test. So thank you guys for sticking around to the normal. Hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and then ring the bell notification the bell notification is going to give you future content on dry ice blasting, wet blasting, dry blasting. Uh, if you guys haven't already, head over to Cali Motor TV and check out that channel. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around, and uh, we'll see you next video. Bye, guys.